from Australia and New Zealand, we must have a beach, right? Of course. <laughs> what we have here is a, is a parkland where people can recharge their batteries. Mm. <laughs> this island will be mainly for butterflies and birds, so yeah. we want to do a butterfly and bird conservatory over there. <laughs> oh, very good. Very rocky country. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, listen carefully at night, you can hear the golden jackals oh, across the wow. river. He loves this country uh, like it's his own. Hi everyone! Hello! Hello! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. I'm Mrs. Mitch. I'm Shushma. Shushma, who are you? I'm granddaughter of Mitch and Mrs. Mitch. Whoa! Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Our little girl. <laughs> In the background, I hope you can see, is our friend's place. This is the Arani Lodge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've come to show you the progress of this amazing lodge uh, today. Yeah. And. Um, I think you're going to be really surprised by what this couple have done yeah. uh, in, um, in very difficult situations but uh, they've managed to build this, develop the land, it's really wonderful. Stay tuned and uh, we hope you enjoy this video. Okay, come along with us. Please. So here we are at the lodge. You can see the amazing progress that's been made already. So we're still under construction here, but it's going to open in how many weeks, Len? Hopefully. Uh, it'll probably open 1st of May. 1st of May. Not long to go. That's the beautiful view of the Arpa River down there. The cliffs in the background where you'll see um, Ibex coming down. Maybe, if you're lucky, in the morning and in the evening. Helipad down there. And Shushma wrapped in an Indian flag just here. Yeah. Uh-huh. And why is that? Because we're having a lot of Indian people coming to buy it sword. Mm. A lot of people showing interest. We want to show you some amazing things here. Not just the lodge itself, but Len, maybe you can tell us about this area here. Thanks, Peter. Well, um, this here is our doubles tennis <coughs> court, but it will also be used for other sports like badminton and mm -hmm. uh, volleyball, even netball, which is a great sport that we want to introduce from Australia. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, this we want to use as a musical concert mm. venue. That's what so, I find fascinating. By the river, we will put a stand up uh -huh. uh, stage, and what we want to do uh, from the, the roof of the lodge is uh, take lights and project those onto the oh, wonderful wow. cliffs. That would be amazing. That and this, be... this will allow, uh, I think, the ambience of the place would be, in nature, would be something special. Mm. In Australia and New Zealand, it's quite common for artists to, to have concerts and vineyards, and yeah. uh, what better location than uh, home of the world's oldest winery. It's a bit of Australia for you. You see the anti-snake devices? In this area here, as we call the secret forest, and it's very mm. important for us because we know here in Armenia many people spend too much money on weddings. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and we wanted to give the young people opportunity to get married in a garden environment like we do in Australia. Yeah. And that will save them a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, they can use this, for, the locals can use this facilities. We won't uh, charge them for that. Part of the running track. Yep. So uh, this this uh, area can take a full-size basketball or netball court, mm -hmm. which we're very excited for because the locals don't have a lot of amenities like that. And we will allow the local uh, children to be able to use that facility. Mm -hmm. And this here is our memorial pool for mm -hmm. my dear departed mum-in-law. Yeah. So this place is surrounded on uh, to, by all sides by water with the canal on one side and the river on the other side. If you uh, listen carefully at night, you can hear the golden jackals oh, across the wow. river, Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, Fantastic. It's probably good that they're on the other side, right? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> this is the form work that, uh, for the helipad. But we're very excited about yeah. this facility because I think it's the only um, <clears throat> international standard helipad uh, in Armenia, including Svartnot. If you're traveling in Vyatsor uh, in a couple of weeks, you'll see uh, apricot, cherry, apple. This is one of my favorite parts, ah. just listening listening to the to the water trickling over the rocks. So this area we call Getup, which is a uh, river beach, uh, because 
Of course, in, from Australia and New Zealand, we must have a beach, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> One of the local villages is doing this um, stone table for us. Wow. Well, this is really beautiful. And so he's going to smooth this all off and make it like this level. Yeah. We need to we need to stop people throwing things in the in the river. Yeah. And like we're constantly cleaning, and but look at all the stuff that comes yeah. down. So don't just clean your house. And clean the beautiful house. Absolutely, because this is our home. It is. Yeah. This skirt is part of a very important public amenity because uh, we, uh, well, you can see my, my wife and Mrs. Oh, Mitch. I never knew they were over there. Walking across the river. And this will be part of a, a public walkway and cycleway. Oh, so wow. uh, this part of the property will be publicly accessible. Sana, what do you think about uh, the River Island? Did you find any snakes? No, we haven't seen snakes, but what I was thinking, I mean, is that you're going to Chopovols is dry. Uh, trees yes. uh, make nice and beautiful. And I'm thinking, what about if you plant there for, um, like you know, um, willow trees? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's a trees. good idea. <laughs> this island will be mainly for butterflies and birds, so yeah. we want to do a butterfly and bird conservatory over there. The bridge will be placed between these big rocks. Mm -hmm. As I say, this is just temporarily yeah. here, and we'll hopefully be able to complete this cycleway this year. Let's yeah, see. That'd be fantastic. We decided to go across. So this is real nature yeah. because no one's been over here. Uh -huh. So I'll go ahead of you in case I see any wriggly snakes. Or bears or something like that. And we want to make this a uh, parkland area for people to rest, relax, fish, do whatever they like here. Uh, with one proviso, no rubbish, no uh -huh. fires. Yeah, true. Okay. So the cycleway will go through here. Oh, and right. And will go across the other side. The other side, uh, there's <coughs> a fish farm over there. Yeah. But uh, the, the cycleway will then continue along the, the bank uh -huh. uh, to RNE Village. And on the other end, we'll connect through the museum to RNE One Cave. RNE One is uh, a glimpse back into our past. 3,000 years before the pyramids were built, oh, wow. we had a vibrant community in this part. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that uh, were growing uh, and manufacturing wine and they had a beautiful community. Mm -hmm. So this area here... What? It's secret, don't tell anybody. Oh no, it won't. Okay, this no. is waterfall fishing rock. Indeed, my gardener uh, gets quite a fish that are about that big. I just exaggerate. Oh wow. So can you tell us a little bit about this area we're looking at here, this uh, so orchard? This, this is the uh, main part of the orchard, mostly peach, mm -hmm. but we also have apple, we have pear, yeah. uh, quince uh, and <clears throat> other interesting trees. So you can see what we're doing mm -hmm. here with the, with the compost. Yeah. And uh, we try not to burn as well. Now unfortunately here in Armenia people are burning. Mm -hmm. um, but that's taking all the valuable nutrients, the nitrogen, the, 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 um, the carbon, and putting it in the atmosphere. And you don't want to do that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to we have to teach the locals uh, new ways of doing things. Yeah. Without uh, coming with an attitude that oh, we know best. We're yeah, sure. from overseas. Blah blah blah. Yeah. We need to make sure we listen yeah. because these people have been doing this for a long time mm. uh, and gently introduce them to new ways of doing yeah, things. Yeah, that's the way, I think. The vineyards are mainly <coughs> the um, Arani Nua, which was the predecessor of Pinot Nua. Mm. Uh, and uh, those vines, uh, some of them, uh, I don't know how old they are, but they're at least 60 or 70 years old. This is more of a show orchard. Yeah. Uh, and also we want the green canopy for the summer because in summer it can reach over 30 degrees your daughter has a special ah. little there's a special little area yeah. here so this is the uh, well we we don't have the wooden stools yeah uh, which we store in the um in the garage over mm -hmm. winter but this is the english school and she teaches under the hazelnut tree, hazelnut here tree yeah. for the uh local villages because English is very important mm -hmm. for the young ones to be able to connect with the world and absolutely uh, important expand their for Armenia. So when you come back, this all the, you'll see all the wooden benches and mm. uh, much better table. Mm -hmm. um, all of these amenities, like here, will be a greenhouse, and that greenhouse uh -huh. will have. Um, uh, a lot of exotic trees, plants. Mm. Uh, in fact, my mum's coming in one week from Australia, mm -hmm. um, and she's bringing some nice uh, Aussie plants, oh, uh, including boysenberry. 
which I don't think they have here in Armenia, uh, and golden kiwi fruit, which we want to cultivate here as well. She's a fantastic lady, and I think she's 87 years of age. She'll be 87 when she arrives oh, wow. there, on her birthday. What we have here is a, is a parkland where people can recharge their batteries. Mm -hmm. It's important, I think, to sometimes just stop and enjoy nature, yeah. immerse yourself in nature. As you see, that's uh, the vineyard there on the bank and the 12 or little yes. um, cottages, I guess you would call yes. them. It's going to be like a like a little, village. a little village of itself. That's going to be run by the community, Len. Yes, correct. And uh, yeah, so we're going, there's going to be crafts, arts, lavash making and things like that. Exactly and uh, it's going to be really wonderful so and why it's important is because we want people to come here year round not just for the wine festival mm. or the gata festival in uh Khachik village yeah. we want people to uh, come and enjoy this part of the world get out of Yerevan yeah for sure uh, come and enjoy this vulnerable part of Armenia and mm. help us strengthen it mm -hmm. now for those that don't know what tuftan is a volcanic stone mm. and it's as you see it's a little bit pink yeah uh, there, it does come in different colors um, and the, the stones that we, uh, you know, the, the scraps. The offcuts, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're powdering it and yeah. uh, we're going to combine it with cement and provide a, a really interesting compass. This is a nighttime conversation circle that we put solar lamps around at night. Yeah, that's um, fantastic. So it's a bit of fun. So uh, the gentleman that's uh, sitting next to Len, his name is, um, I've forgotten. Felix. Felix. Felix uh, uh, Baris is uh, Vonsek. Hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> now Felix. Felix is uh, Lena Namine's gardener, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what it's like to work here as the gardener for in the RE Lodge? No, I should want them all over Ashadam. I worked with Lena a long time. Uh -huh. I like this. Work. Mm. Better than building. <laughs> because it relaxes yeah. you. Mm. It's great to work here and to know Len, become uh, like relatives. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I saw you pruning. Last year oh, Len actually yeah, did there. Oh. He did uh, like uh, messed up. What do you like, do? Like, <laughs> what do you do? In some places he cut more, in some oh, places oh, I'm an aviator, not a great It was pruner. less produced, but yeah. this year he said we will get more plants. Yeah. Because uh, when you're pruning, you need to know yeah, you need which to one know. is actually yeah, going sure. to give the produce, mm. and some of them actually not giving the produce. But I want you to understand what just happened here. He's <coughs> such <coughs> part of the family that he's busy uh, being my boss, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, that, and that's fine by us, because here in Armenia, unfortunately, a lot of the uh, higher people, the managers, they kind of look down a little bit on people. Yeah. And this is, this is not correct. And besides the gardener, because this, as I explained, is very important for this lodge, the mm. park, he but becomes said, probably the most important employee. Uh, one of the most important things uh, that I would just like to say is it's really wonderful that uh, uh, we can see men like you working here in Armenia doing the, the kind of things that uh, Armenians have been doing for centuries, but maybe even learning new techniques as as you go along uh, there are some things there are some projects here that require some modern techniques but mm. i guess with gardening it's uh you know it's an ancient it's fairly organic uh, kind of Indeed. things len has done a lot of that uh, himself L lifted uh, some of these heavy rocks by himself with the help of the gardener and some other men i just really hope this place is successful not just because he's my friend but because he loves this country uh, like it's his own and uh, I can say the same for myself uh, I love this country also very very much it's like my own country now and uh, it's so beautiful and peaceful here it really is and this is the canal that we were talking about the bridge that crosses over there I think it can hold if I'm not mistaken 70 tons and this is one of the uh, buildings we've shown you before in a previous video uh, I think this is uh, going to be like a honeymoon suite or something like that they're trying to do 
all of what they can to preserve nature here. It's eco-friendly. They've done an amazing amount of uh, landscaping and preserving it. It's hats off to them for that. <laughs> oh, very good. Very rocky country. <laughs> so everyone, uh, we hope you enjoyed this little tour of our friends Arani Lodge. Uh, right now we're in what uh, there is going to be the new restaurant here in Ashfad the Ashfad restaurant, which uh -huh. means world. Don't get me to say that, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, it's going to be amazing. So we, um, we hope uh, one day that you'll all come and uh, visit this wonderful region and this wonderful lodge called the Arani Lodge. And wonderful couple like Leanne and Armine. So, <laughs> with all that said, thanks for watching. And so it's bye from Mitch. Mrs. Mitch. Armine. <laughs> Mari. Shushma. And Len. Final Bye. word. Shushma, what do you have to say? Like, share and subscribe to Armenian Life with Mitch and stay tuned to upcoming videos. Wow. Very good. <laughs> okay, love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.